We got some some skeletonization going. You can see this plant right here has got quite a few holes in it, and you can see uh, got four weevils right here in my hand. Those are weevils, the larvae form. Right there is one still on the plant. So there's at least five on this one piece of al alfalfa plant. This got the sprayer hooked up to the four wheeler. Just close the valve off. I'm gonna let it get some, enough water in it so it's not sucking air. We'll start the engine up. I'm gonna unfold these wings and we'll see if she'll run, Cade. Right? Say hi to everybody. No, okay. He's still not sure about the whole YouTube thing. Spraying some Malathion. Uh, it's an insecticide. Application rate is two pints per acre. There's one gallon here, so there's eight pints in this. I've got four acres, so we're gonna use one whole gallon. I'm gonna start this thing up, let it be agitating, mixing everything up. I've got her filled up. Get my long sleeve shirt on, get my gloves on. Got a mask, I go ahead and wear that. Just to be on the safe side. May not have to, I do. Oh, look, there's a rabbit. Hey, little wascally rabbit. And if you noticed in the time lapse, I put two jugs in because I remembered I'm going to spray the alfalfa grass mix in the back. Uh, we've got my dad's Honda Foreman. Uh, it's an S. It's a 450. This sprayer is all that four-wheeler wants. In fact, you probably really need a bigger one. 150 gallons of water. You know, we're, we're talking 1,200 pounds. By the time you figure in the weight of the sprayer, we're probably talking 1,600 pounds total. That's quite a bit of weight when you get on hillsides and stuff. Um, it is a 32 foot. 32 and a half foot swath. Slide this out on both sides. Right about in there. Pretty good. Take that down. We're ready. Let's we'll spray some alfalfa. Real quick here, I'm going to show you kind of how we adjust it. We've got a pressure gauge here. This is the suction line from the tank. Pressure line out of the pump. We go here and we tee off. This here filters and goes to our spray nozzles. Goes to the control circuit up here. And then this here is a bypass. So if I open this all the way up, that's bypassing all that it can. Actually, it's bypassing 100% right now. See, my pressure drops. If I shut that bypass down pressure goes up so now we're almost 50 if I turn that all the way off now we're not flowing anything anywhere but we're at 50 pounds I always have a little bit but I'll rev this engine up a little more and then I'll adjust this to you know whatever pressure I want but right now I want to bypass quite a bit because that's what's agitating my my spray in here we're, we're mixing right now so the controls what we got here is, this is the left and right boom control. This is the master boom control. So right now, left and right's on. All I gotta do is flip this switch up and it'll turn the whole sprayer on. And whenever I come to the end, if I wanna turn the left off, I'll flip this down and I wanna keep the right running. And then I'll flip this down. But then I'll, then I'll flip this down while I'm turning. I'll flip this down, flip both these back on if I wanna turn both on at the same time. And then I flip this in here to control both. Neither one of them will come on if this is off. Okay? But that lets you be able to split it if you're coming to a point row or something. And then the, the soaper, this is just off. And then this is the right side. And that's the left side. Alright. Got the pressure set. Ready to roll. I'm going to go around the field once. That'll give me my ends and everything that I need to be able to turn around and get 100% coverage.
That field is done. Fold up, head down the road, go to the back field. But there's a decent amount, so I definitely want to go ahead and spray it and keep what alfalfa is here. Alright guys, we're about finished up. Set my first bit of air. I got one little piece of corn over here. I know I missed a little bit. I cut it too sharp. I'm going to do that and then uh, pretty well it. Be ready to just pack up for the night. Just start over again tomorrow. Alright guys. We sprayed, still got some sunlight left. Get up to the house. Um, I'm pretty happy. I, it came out perfect, which, I mean, it should. I calculated it, right? Yeah, yeah! Just got back to the house. Shutting up the barn and uh, make them out and work on some of our projects tonight. We're going in right now. <laughs> Cleaned up, take a shower, and uh, catch up with you guys tomorrow. We're going to spray some 2,4-D on that back field and that new, new planting orchard grass that I planted last fall. And then uh, we'll go from there. Whew. I got home from work, put the hose in the sprayer, go ahead and start filling her up. Went in, changed my clothes, got caught up on a couple phone calls, and I thought, oh shoot, I left the water running. Let's see just how full we are here. <laughs> Ain't getting much fuller than that. It's late, I didn't get the spray today. But I went ahead and filled it with water, so I, that'd be that much less I have to do. Today, we are spraying the Ester LV4. It's a off-brand 2,4-D. Ah. Anybody else love tires as much as I do? No? I didn't think so. Much gooder. Much gooder. All right. Now we can get to it. All right, guys, get ready to spray. Just trying to see if my right sofa is going to work or not. Ah, oh, beautiful day, guys. The wind held off. It's nice and sunny, as you can tell. Blue skies, cumulus clouds. Got the old girl loaded up. I'm going to take the sprayer to the next guy on the list. It's a friend of ours, so I'm just going to take it on over. He's over by my dad's house. Take the four-wheeler to dad's, and I'll just drop this by his house him having to come all the way over here to get it. Got our spraying done. We sprayed 2,4-D on the new plenty of orchard grass. Sprayed the alfalfa for weevils. Just listen to that. Oh, wow. A beautiful, beautiful sound to my ears. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Really appreciate you watching. Uh, I'll give, do an update, see how the 2,4-D worked on the weeds and to see how the malathion worked on the alfalfa weevils. That's the first time I ever used malathion for alfalfa weevils. Um, hopefully it works good. Time will tell though. So, uh, you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much guys for all the support. Um, you know the drill. God bless you. God bless America. Franklin County Forge out.